Hello everyone, this is Mr. Informal bringing you the latest and greatest Mr. Informal thoughts, analysis, and rant, and rant. So this time it is the uh, recently announced Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3. Unbelievable. We are on the third generation of the Galaxy Z Fold. So what do we have? in this fold free we're certainly let me give you my thoughts right now it is not ready for prime time not even close it might take another three generation for this to actually make it on prime time due to price durability not only that due to the physical hardware of this so certainly this is not ready for prime time should you buy one no should you even consider one no will this last you a year i don't think so it might even last you nine months is this just one of those devices that need that needs to be beta tested or if you're early adopter sure why not if you have income if you're rich, fine, go ahead and buy it. But as of right now, this is not a phone that you should consider buying. Even if you love technology, in terms of the physical limitation of it, it's just too much. So we go, if we, uh, before we continue on to my analysis, let's get on to the specs. So it has 120 Hertz screen with uh, 1768 by 2208. Uh, screens resolutions 374 pixel per inch uh, 1200 nits brightness uh, Samsung said that the screen uh, durability has increased to 80% Gorilla Glass Victus the top of the top or uh, the best of the best of Gorilla Glass IPX8 which means it is water resistant up to 1.5 meter but it is not dust resistant not only that it will come with three cameras, cameras from the S21 series, 12 megapixels f2.8, 26 millimeter wide with OIS, 12 megapixels f2.4, uh, which has uh, two times optical zoom and OIS. And then the third one is 12 megapixels f2.2 ultra wide. But the good thing is that the selfie camera has four megapixels which is actually quite small f1.8 but an innovation part of from samsung it is actually hidden i mean you could certainly see it if you look closer but they hid it under the screen which is pretty cool i'll give them that um not only that there's also another one on the front which is 10 megapixels at 2.2 so you have one on the front, the selfies inside, and then there's three cameras on the back, which is five lenses. No headphone jack, even though it's big enough for one. Uh, yes, it does have stereo speakers, Bluetooth 5.2. It will come with Wi-Fi 6E, which is the new uh, standard for uh, Wi-Fi, USB-C 3.2, 4,400 milliamps, at a price of, well, it's eighteen hundred dollars. Yes, eighteen hundred dollars. Will come black, silver, and green. So those are the specs. Let's get on to my analysis. Well, again, this is only going to be a niche product. They are targeting targeting small group of consumers that love technology, that love that latest and greatest, even though it's not yet ready for prime time. I forgot to mention that this has 256 gig uh, of storage with 12 gigs of RAM. 12 gigs of RAM is the standard. And certainly, this will not move units. They're not gonna sell a lot. It's probably going to be the same as Z Fold 2. Not only that, they're raising up, uh, the price is $1,800, no way, no how. And the worst part is, there's a case that will come with it that you can actually put a pen inside it because 
the fold doesn't have enough space to put an integrated pen like the note because they're not announcing any note this year which is absolutely too bad so that's just another accessories for you to uh, add on after you paid eighteen hundred dollars because the screen is eighty percent harder or stronger that way you can use the pen now but in terms of the market alone this will not move units it will create buzz and hype but in terms of sales it's not going to move sales this is just samsung trying to say hey we're the first and then we're trying to mature the product but certainly this product is just not ready i think it's a waste of space waste of time waste of environment they could have just kept the uh bold two and leave it as that but they're not willing to if you get what i mean so in any case this is not going to move units and you know what i don't really care let's get on to my rant okay you got this is a big phone 4400 milliamps are you serious that's a negative no headphone jack again this phone is big negative the fact that samsung is marketing this with the pen makes me feel like this is going to replace the note and that is absolutely disappointing that is a big fail the hinge is not much any stronger from what it looks like they're touting oh it is stronger than before but i mean it's it just isn't from the looks of it i mean if you look at their testing their testing is way too generalized and they don't seem to understand that humans don't go straight they always go on a curve or some type of uh non-straight lines that's why the human body is not straight there's no straight lines in the human body it's all curves so in any case let me continue i'm not absolutely happy the fact that you be you are being charged eighteen hundred dollars including using the same camera lens as the s21 series this eighteen hundred dollars and you're telling me that this this does not have the best of the best of the best camera that samsung has to offer last but not least I absolutely feel as though, just like the same conclusion as I had on the Z Flip 3, check that out, is Samsung did, have, did not have the full motivation to absolutely improve this product. Because if they did, it would have been better than this. Not only that, I don't think they even have the motivation, even just the relentless innovation mindset that they could do and again it's absolutely disappointing for eighteen hundred dollars there's only a few people in the world that would buy this and even then are they gonna fully utilize what the full z3 has to offer i don't think so and for eighteen hundred dollars it's not gonna win awards i mean it might you know give you hopes and dreams of the future as of right now or even the next year it's just not ready and so that basically concludes this thoughts analysis and rant and rant of the samsung galaxy z fold 3 absolutely disappointing again they could have done better they could have have a revolutionary mindset instead of evolutionary mindset but you know when you're in a setting like samsung or even major corporate brands out there all they care is about incremental upgrades and their margins and i think this is it all they want all samsung wanted to do was just get a better margin margin meaning uh, better profit profit margins and so that basically concludes this thoughts analysis and rent and rent of the samsung galaxy z 43 i will see you on the next one bye bye